guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Is my microphone on? Yes it is. Today I'm at Buckmore Park. We're doing a 24 hour race in go-karting. I've just had my first lapse. It's currently raining right now and uh, my goodness, I have never experienced something so treacherous in my life. In Australia, obviously it never rains. So I've never experienced wet weather racing before in real life. And boy, I tell you, that was a, a real shock to the system. I did it on slick tyres as well, so I mean, just even more to the sketchiness, but yeah. Um, qualifying's about to start. We've got bikes of Jimmy Broadbent, uh, TRL Limitless, Alex Gillen, uh, Tommy from WTF1, um, Super GT, Sonic. Uh, we've got James, uh, Veloce James. We've got a fully stacked lineup, but we're uh, very, very unprepared, uh, shall we say. So uh, this will be fun. Benjamin Daly, uh, Sky Sports F1. Uh, Steve, how are you feeling for the race? Absolutely awful. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I that team at Marta for my team. How many times are we going to get laps? Triple digits, I'd say. Okay. We're uh, sat on the grid. James is starting the car. Uh, we qualified P6. So not a bad start. We got lumped in with the pro class. I don't know how or why we're in the pro class. We should definitely be in club, especially based on my driving. So uh, this will be an interesting start to the race. It wasn't supposed to rain. Like I said, um, I hope it dries up by the time I get in the car. Otherwise, we're going to start sinking down the, uh, the order. But not too long till we start. start we didn't die we didn't fall over we're away you can see they're all just running wide they're trying to get every little bit of momentum they can they're four wide there coming out of turn three nearly going onto the grass they're over the uh, the race director's red paint that he's going to be uh, complaining about afterwards i'm sure but you can see now that the number six machine of brentwood banter out in front and i believe that is uh, goldsmith in the car who we were actually watching in practice and seemed very very quick Alright, so I'm just going to walk you guys through this first uh, hour or two, uh, Vloche James's first stint. Um, we basically qualified P6, uh, JD, TRL Limitless, qualified the car P6 after very limited running, so shout out to him for um, putting the car where he did. Um, for the race, uh, we dropped off uh, at the start, James didn't, didn't get a good start, I think he ran wide uh, the opening few corners. But um, he managed to claw back a lot of ground very quickly, got up to P6 and then P5, and then a few people started to make their pit stops. But, man, I tell you, it was so treacherous out there. Um, <laughs> when I did my three laps in practice, uh, we only had a 40-minute session, and there was very, very limited running for any of us. Um, the track just had absolutely no grip. So slick tires on a wet circuit, and to compound the matters even further, they were brand new slick tires. So absolutely no purchase in those tires. But James is doing unbelievably well. He, um, he hadn't made a mistake. He hadn't spun out. And uh, so to his credit, he was doing really, really well. There was, it was just so easy to spin out in these conditions. But James, being the absolute trooper that he is, um, managed to fight his way through the field and uh, do really well for himself. He is battling against the pro drivers where a lot of us are novices at this circuit. So, um, yeah, we are well and truly punching above our weight. A few crashes up and down the field, as you would expect in these conditions, but um, we actually managed to survive the first stint without any major incidents. So box, 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 box. 
Two hours later, done my stint, and it feels pretty good. I'm not too bad, I'm a bit cold, very hungry. And we're currently, well I came in in P3, so we obviously dropped back a bit. I think we're running in P8 at the moment. So I think overall we're P3, which is good. I think the aim is a podium. The guys in the lead, apparently they come every week and they're, you know, they're regulars, but they're really fast. So we don't really have a chance unless they have a mechanical issue or something like that. So at the moment, I am going to head back, going to get some food, nice shower. My next stint will be during the night uh, and yeah, that's going to be even colder and even wetter probably, so let's look forward to that. We need a tour of the car, let's go. Well, as you can see, we've got a custom rear spoiler on the oh, back Oh yes. Big downforce. Now this is the best bit, right? We come inside and it's all lovely. Come, come round, my, <laughs> my dear Ben. Oh, thank you, thank you. You might think. Oh man, bog standard automatic, but wait a minute, what's this? It's the seven speed mode for the flappy paddles oh, in the Jazz. Oh yeah! Revs to a grand total of under 6,000 RPM for the rhythm. <laughs> but uh, probably going to be my bed, so comfy boy. One hour later. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. Alright, I am back at the circuit. The time is... Uh, 10 past 10 uh, at night. I haven't even driven yet and we're like eight hours into the race. Yeah, it looks like it's dried up a little bit. As you can see there, there's a dry line uh, forming. So hopefully that'll make life a little bit easier for me. But yeah, I just got back to the circuit and I catch up with the boys and uh, see how we're doing. All right, Jesus, that's what I look like without a hat and a haircut. Anyway. Um, just caught up with the boys. I'm about to get in the car in about 15-20 minutes and uh, I think we're sitting P11. Uh, we've been downgraded to clubman class so that means we might be leading or in contention for the win in that class. Uh, what we do need to make sure is that we don't go too quickly and then get promoted to pro so um, we'll try and avoid that but yeah that's kind of where we stand at the moment. They got rebalance and stuff so yeah that's pretty cool. Um, track is drying. Uh, like I think I said, so we'll get out there again and see how we go. Alright, this is Ben from the future, talking to you in third person. This is Super GT, or Steve Brown, getting out of the cart now after his big boy stint. And now I'm getting in for the first time uh, a very, very long way into the race. This is 11pm, uh, um, setting up my GoPro, as you can see in the top right hand corner of the screen. And then getting ready to get in the car. The fuel takes about 30 seconds. Um, there's not a whole lot of fuel that goes in, but uh, it's pretty quick anyway. And uh, once I get the signal, I'll jump in and start my stint. So it's a little bit damp out there, but for the most part, it's pretty dry. So um, it's just a case of getting out there and getting a feel for it now, which uh, we're going to do now. Here we go, onto the pit lane, or out of the pit lane, and onto the circuit, and we join the race eight hours into it. Meanwhile, hey guys, superior YouTubers here, <laughs> and uh, so basically, we've just sent uh, Ben out to the mercy of Buckmore Circuit. And guess what? He wasn't wearing any gloves, we kind of, we kind of didn't notice it. So, um, he's gonna have to come in soon for some gloves, otherwise, his hands are gonna fall off. Um, but yeah, Ben, you're silly. Subscribe to Alex Gillen. 
subscribe to Jimmy Warfare. There you go. <laughs> you were like, where's mine? <laughs> I'll subscribe to Tim at <laughs> I can't believe it. In all of that uh, madness, I forgot to put my gloves on. I was so concerned about getting my GoPro hooked up, getting the right angle, um, getting all the fixments on and everything that I completely forgot about. One of the most crucial things to driving, the gloves. So uh, I'm going to have to come in again and, and someone will have to throw me some gloves or I'll just have to stick it out uh, with uh, no gloves for the entirety of this stint. But you can see early doors, I'm really struggling. Um, it was it was mainly the brakes. Um, these cars are very sensitive. You can't jam, jam on the brakes like you can maybe in a game or uh, like in other carts that I've been to in Australia. Um, you had to be, I don't know, braking at about 50%, something like that and not going too hard into the corner. Uh, otherwise, the rear end will just spin out. And that was something I... I struggled with for the entirety of this first stint, unfortunately. I, I spun more times than I'd like to admit, but uh, I eventually got the hang of it, but now it looks like we're coming in because I got a black flag because of the glove situation. So there we go, back out on circuit. Um, I said I'm starting to get in the groove now, and I really wish I didn't say that because what I'm, what I actually meant by that is I'm actually learning that I, le I know the circuit now. I know what I'm doing, kind of, but uh, I still wasn't. <laughs> fully mastered with this car because I still spent out a few times after saying that. But anyway, we've got the gloves on now. Uh, I've got a black flag. Um, not because it was illegal to wear gloves, I don't think. I, I think the lads were just looking after me. Um, they actually told Race Control and uh, Race Control brought me in for a black flag so I could get some gloves on. So shout out to the lads for actually looking after me there. I wasn't worried about the coldness at all. Actually, it was more blisters. Because blistering can be a thing when you grip the wheel really hard, and that's something I felt before uh, when back in the day when I used to race without gloves. But um, yeah, there's a spin there. There, there was quite a few spins um, over the course of this uh, stint, and it mainly stemmed from trying to push too hard and, and battling. You can see I'm side by side with this guy into hairpin one. I jump on the brakes because I want to outbrake him and go around the outside, and I completely stuff it up. So that was, that was the root of the cause uh, towards the end of my stint was, was pushing too hard when I was in battles uh, with the brakes. But my consistency, consistency slowly got there. My pace was, was getting, was all right, actually. When I got it right, um, I was in the low 52s or something, high 51s maybe. I can't quite remember. I never actually had a look at my um, lap time sheet. But I wasn't too far off what the other guys were doing, and that was pretty good. A lot of us... Or a few of us haven't been to Buckmore Park before, and I especially haven't been here before, so I was uh, definitely a novice. Same too with Tommy uh, from WTF1. Um, yeah, it was a it was a steep learning curve for us. But you can see we're battling away. I had a lot of battles over the course of this stint. It was great fun. Uh, Buckmore Cup circuit is um, a really good track to race at. It's got a good sequence of corners, a lot of high speed ones, a couple of hairpins as you can see, which I am not good at. I got forced out off the track and um, I tried to brake off the circuit. Tried to touch the barrier because I got really close. Um, but yeah, I got forced out wide there onto where the track or the off track part of the circuit was still wet and uh, the cart just said nope and we completely lost it. Nearly went into the barrier there as you saw and we lost a lot of time from that. So it was a, a frustrating stint from a um, position standpoint of things but from my personal side, it was great fun. Uh, it was an hour long stint. Uh, had a lot of fun, had a lot of battles, and in the end, I actually didn't want to get out, despite it being midnight and very, very cold. Do you 
You forgot your bloody gloves, you pleb. That was so fun. I was, I drove so crap, but it was fun. I didn't want to get out. Uh, yeah, wasn't it? Good shit. We have Couple one. of spins there, Ben. Good old bottle job, Ben Daly, coming back at it. I couldn't feel the brakes. Like, <laughs> I, I finally got the hang of it near the end, but whenever I was in a battle, I couldn't find the right like limit, but yeah, I don't know. When I got it right, I was okay. We're now gonna head home, have some sleep, get charged up again because I'm getting back in the car at 7 a.m. So getting up for that will be the hardest part. Once I'm up, I'll be raring to go. I've got two more stints before the end. And uh, we're looking good. We are leading the club and class. 3.28 a.m. What happened, lads? What happened? Explain. Uh, mate, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's half on us. Uh, well, mate, not really. We thought uh, something was good to do another 15 minutes. We do two hours and we do take off like two and a half hours. Two hours is quite demanding. So you're walking down there? So we're walking down at two um, to do the drive stop at 2.15 and we see look at the exit, which means that he's come in for the two hours and he's uh. what's going on. So. We were leading, uh, we're now, with, I'm not sure where we are now, probably, probably behind by about a lap or so, but we'll, we'll be in second still, but yeah, at least gone. It's all good though, it's all good. We're not even, we're just about halfway. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> I've been home, had a sleep. Have you? Yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been awake the whole time? Yes. <laughs> you couldn't tell, mate, you look fresh as a daisy. So Jimmy Broadbent, top YouTuber, you've gone out of the track, but have you left your car unlocked? No you haven't, but you left the light on, so the battery's going to die when you get back. The next morning. Morning chappers, it is 5 to 7, uh, just got to the circuit, it's very foggy out there, um, not too cold, which is good, uh, hopefully it's still dry, uh, it looks like it's about as dry, maybe slightly damper than uh, when I last ran. But uh, it's set to rain again today, but hopefully I can wash out my stints before it does. But uh, anyway, let's get out there and uh, cause some carnage. I didn't do it. Meanwhile... <laughs> so my stint is done. Um, you can see they're running around right now. It's very foggy, uh, very greasy out there. Um, I had a lot of confidence um, as it started to go from dry to intermediate conditions. The racing line was fast, but everywhere else there was no grip. But, um, I feel like I kept really good heat in my tyres, I think. And I just had a lot more confidence in people around me. People in front were really slow, and I... A lot of noise, sorry. And uh, I took a lot of people... Uh, I took two people out over the course of the stint, so that got me a couple of black flags. But otherwise, I think we moved forward. But every time I get in the car, I don't want to get out. It's uh, a lot of fun, so... I'm actually going to go back to my hotel now, have breakfast, then come back and maybe do a stint or two to finish off the race. Um, we're currently in P2 in class. Okay, so we're now on Change of plans. I may not be getting back in the car, uh, but we have a chance of winning. Uh, where one lap away from the leader. Uh, Sonic is in the car at the moment and James I think is going to get in and hopefully chase him down and win the race. Uh, we just need to unlap ourselves and uh, we might be there. How long is to go in the race? Uh, three hours and twenty. Three hours and twenty minutes. Sonic has just spun over there. He's got about 15 minutes left and then I'm finishing the race with a massive two and a half, two hours, 15 minutes stint. 
So the gap, to the, the gap between first and second in the Clubman class at the moment is 1.8 seconds. So we both have to make a pit stop. So it's down to me. I give him two and then a one. On the two I got a hand movement, on a one I got a shake of the head. He's not very happy, but... <laughs> You ready? Hello, man. Let's do this. Three, sauna. So now, now, now that's it now to the end, yeah. so we'll show we should have a great we, shot. We were really close on fuel, so we were trying to go... Yeah, I know. I thought, I thought James was coming down. Well, yeah, we, we were about no, to head down. two minutes on the Because the car started coughing. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't want to risk it by staying up until we came. No, it's, it's alright, yeah. man. It's alright. Like. So I just took the black flag. Did you did, did the right thing. It's fine. Yeah. And, and, and the thing is, James, James is going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got good job, man. Great set, real good set. Good job, man. It's interesting, you know. Like, it's good to make sure that we're, you know, there's no point risking it when we get so much faster. Don't you be filming me? <laughs> Doing my magical project. What's that say, Jimmy? Um, I can't read or write, so I'm just writing random things. Neither can I. I'm, I'm, I'm fucked. <laughs> okay, well, basically, um, we need uh, James to save some fuel. Uh, like, assuming. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the other side? <laughs> I don't think you ever have one, look at your hands. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the, un ah. the, the unsolved riddle. You, can't read or write. <laughs> to go. We've got this one in the bag. Now we die. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 